So that's your friends. Welcome back to another video. Today, I was supposed to be shooting part two to the Smoke and Tears series. Uh, so I still got four bottles to try and uh, my youngest son is just fighting going to bed tonight. So the wife's off dealing with that. So I decided just to do another one of these. Today, I'm going to be doing Angry Goat Pepper Company. Hippy Dippy Green Avocado and Kiwi Hot Sauce. Forget it. Now, as you can see in that little video there where I got the, the bottle on the turnstile there, you can see this little uh, turtle on the front here. It's, uh, it makes me laugh when I see it. He's got the peace sign in his shell and he's all looking like he's baked out of his skull. Uh, hippy dippy green. So, yeah, a little stoner, little fucking turtle guy there. Avocado and kiwi hot sauce, like I said. This one here, the ingredients in this one are fire roasted jalapeno peppers, fire roasted serrano peppers, water, lime juice, fire roasted tamatillos, I don't know how to pronounce that, my bad, kiwi fruit, agave nectar, avocado, avocado salt, absorbic acid, citric acid, tequila, olive oil, granulated, granulated garlic, sea salt, onion powder, cumin, black pepper, and fresh cilantro. Shake well refrigerate after opening the sodium content on this one is 22 milligrams which is one percent so big fucking difference from the last two that i done both rock and 17 percent hippy dippy green hot sauce is a new twist on verde style sauces avocado and kiwi fruit combined with the fire roasted chilies and to tomatillos to create a creamy and refreshing sauce so if you're into if you so if you're a tree-hugging, Wall Street-occupying, peace, love, and flavor type, pour some of this on your falafel. Try on falafels, omelets, Mexican as a salad dressing on fish, taco, or mix in a batch of guacamole. Mild. 3 out of 10. So I say it could be used as a salad dressing. That's interesting. Um, you can see there by the textures on this one. You get all the peppers and everything like that. It's got, uh, you can definitely see everything floating around in there. It is a nice color of a very day sauce. It's got the consistency of what I would expect from like a, like a thick salad dressing almost. All right, I'm going to open her up. Get a sniff test going and I'm going to pour some in here and shake her up. And then we'll give her a go. Now avocado and kiwi are something I generally don't eat, but... With everything else mixed in in the hot peppers, we shall see what this stuff's like. Hmm. Ooh, that's got a nice smell to it. That actually makes my mouth water, like, almost instantaneously. I've never really tried any of the Angry Goat myself. So, hopefully. Ah, oh, that smells almost like... It smells almost like a salad dressing type scent to it. Almost like it's got, um, you can really smell those fire roasted jalapenos for sure. It almost gives it like a pickle type smell. All right, let's just get some of this in here. Put the cap back on. I'm going to give this stuff a shake and I'll get right back at you. All right, so I poured all the sauce in here and I shook up the Tupperware to get her all coated up. Don't know how well you can see that there. Definitely has a, a very unique scent to this one. You do smell the avocado and the kiwi and, uh, and the roasted red jalapenos. Oh man, does that make that smell real nice. I could, that's just making my mouth water. I almost kind of just by the smell do want to try this on a salad actually. Um, I'll let you know in another video if I do. All right, let me just try this shit out. Once again, that's Angry Goat Company. Yeah, Angry Goat Pepper Company. Hippy Dippy Green. Let's go. Hmm. 
As, as the bottle stated, it's very mild. Uh, there's not a really a heat kick to it. Um, it is only a jalapeno based sauce. You do get a bit of the avocado. You definitely get a bit of the kiwi. But the roasted uh, red jalapenos takes the takes the number one spot as far as the flavor goes. Oh, that's actually really nice. That's unique, very unique. I can't even really, I can't even really compare this sauce to anything that I've ever tried before. This is um, this is different for me. I was kind of a little bit skeptical about the avocados and kiwi, but uh, no, this is uh, this is actually a pretty tasty sauce. And that flavoring from the roasted red jalapenos is just, mmm, that's good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I can definitely see this pairing with uh, pretty much anything that they listed on the on the bottle that I would eat anyway. Um, not big into fish myself. Uh, depends on what type of fish it is, but I could see it going well with fish. I could definitely see this well going with a salad. Uh, hands down, I'm actually curious to try that now. Um, tacos, yeah. Uh, just for that extra red jalapeno type flavoring behind it. It's, uh, oh man, that's really nice. I actually like this a lot. Uh, I'm going to demo this bottle in no time. I'm actually curious now too to see what other uh, sauces I've missed out on as far as Angry Goat Pepper Company goes. Now these guys here are based out of Bradford, Vermont. AngryGoatPepperCo.com. I will leave a link in the description as I always do. For those looking for heat, this is not going to be a sauce you want. Uh, clearly, it's not a it's not a hot sauce. It even like actually states that it's three out of ten on the side of the bottle. That's actually a really nice sauce. I'm I'm actually very impressed when I was going into this one skeptical. Very nice. The avocado, the kiwi, the roasted red jalapenos, and the garlic and everything like that just blended together. That's just for me, that's a unique flavor I've never tasted before. That's uh very nice. A couple wings in, you get a little bit more heat kind of slowly building, like very, very, very slowly. Again, it's a very mild sauce, so if you're a heat head. This isn't going to be one of the ones you want to track down and try and go for, but for those who like flavor when it comes to sauced, uh, sauces on your wings or, or, or hot sauces in general, like if you prefer the flavor and mild ones, definitely check this stuff out because I'm telling you right now, it's, it's pretty fucking tasty. You don't get a lot of vinegar at all. Right away, I taste the roasted red um, jalapenos, even in the scent, that's the first thing I get. The avocado and kiwi are almost hidden, but they're all blended so well together that it's, you can't really define one thing to the other, but it's uh, surprisingly a very tasty sauce. I'm actually uh, quite impressed with this one, and I definitely want to check out some more Angry Goat. But that being said, folks, the next video I shoot, uh, for my friends over at Smoke and Tears, it will be part two of that series, uh, the three-part series. So uh, we got two more bottles to knock down in that one. We should film this week and hopefully be out on Friday. And I'm going to keep trying to keep these videos just coming through. Uh, I got a few more sauces in the fridge that I have opened, but the videos got screwed up, as I was saying before. So I will be getting revisiting a few of those. Some of them probably won't because they're just shit, and maybe I'll just do a... A general video where I'll lay a couple bottles out, give a brief description of each ones, and just leave it at that. But anyways, folks, thanks again for joining me. Fucking love y'all. Peace.